Now we're going to go inside. We're going to box a little bit, and I want to see a little hand movement. I want to see a five, two, three, and then three, four, three come behind that, or a four, three, two. Either or, the objective is to see what it looks like in a simulation mode whenever you're counter punching and you're in the paint and you want to make that adjustment yourself. Counter punching, the sweet art of boxing at the highest level. Let's get inside, let's box a little bit, move the hands, and start the counter punching. Ready? Inside. Five, two, three, we go. Robert. Side, sleep, keep that head moving left or right. Time. Good. All right. Now you see what happens as the shorter fighter gets inside and throws that combination and gives the other guy a little trouble. Now. You're going to be with the four, three, and a two. Boom, boom. And we're going to try to do something down low in the bread basket after the fact. That's going to be your account from the button. We know he's going to the body. He's going to the bread basket. After he finishes the combination, you know once he push that button, you let him go. And you close it out with everything you got. Let's work. Five, two, three, four, four, three, two. Body shot, body shot. Both sides. Ready? Lead off. Green gets countered this time. Let's go. science never allow an opportunity to attack the body go by you because you get very few of those opportunities when you're on the inside you guys feeling all right the science of uh, counter punching is understanding no matter how many punches they throw there will be a punch that's last whatever that last punch is that's what you counter off of so if it's a left hook there you can go with the right hand left hook right uppercut if it's a right hand, you can go right hand, right uppercut, left hook, right hook, body shot, slide under, turn, then another four, three, step, slide, keeping your body and use those shoulders to keep you anchored left side to right side so it doesn't matter whatever he throws, it won't land clean. That's the science. So if he catches you here, you go here, here, you go here. Doesn't matter, like I said, that's why we go through the drill. Now I'm gonna close it out, same thing, but I wanna see you close out with that double body shot at the end, and the person who gets hit last, counter from that shot. Work. Good.
some up-tempo sparring. That's what you call the simulation tier four, where you're going into fight mode and you're really letting your hands go and you're allowing your instinct to take over. And that's some of the key things that you're gonna learn in the science of counterpunching. That's why we take the time and break down each facet of this game because there's so many essential parts that make a fighter go from one level to the next. And that's our objective. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some of the drills that you can use inside of the mitts to give you a little bit of an advantage whenever you crawl in between those ropes, getting that muscle memory up to date, and these are the key things that'll make you better in counter punching. My name is Coach Eric Bradley. Let's go for round one. Just simple counter punch drills that you can use with the mitts. Let's go. Repetition over guessing. Good work. <laughs> 